A few weeks back, a client of ours at work asked us to construct a model of a boiler and fill it with their ash, and then puff the ash by blowing air through these little manifolds. These manifolds are made out of copper, and I thought this would be a great time to show you something I learned last year, which is how to solder copper pipe. Now, I'm not a plumber, and I don't profess to know how to do this perfectly, so if you have any better ideas, feel free to comment down below. The first step is to cut your copper pipe to length. You can use a simple tubing cutter such as this one, or if you have a bigger pipe, uh, a larger one. Once you clamp it down around the pipe, you rotate it around, clamp it a tiny bit tighter, rotate it around again a few times, and keep clamping and rotating until the pipe just falls off in your hand. One quick note, be careful when you're clamping down on the cutter. You don't want to accidentally crush the pipe as the copper is very soft. Once you cut off the pipe, you have to clean up the ends to prepare it for the solder. I use this little wire brush tool on the outside edge of the pipe. That ended up working really well for that. For the inside of the pipe, you can either use a, another wire brush or you can use emery cloth and just wrap it into a little circle like I'm doing now. And then you place that inside the fitting and twist it back and forth and in and out for a little while until it once again gets nice and shiny. For fittings such as this T-fitting, I like to clean up all of the junctions that are going to be soldered. That way it saves a little bit of time when you come to flux and solder it. Don't have to go back and re-clean. It's critical to apply flux to the joint, otherwise the solder will not flow into the joint and will just remain basically where you lay it on. So I use a small brush to apply flux to both the pipe and the inside of the fitting. Once the flux is applied, you can assemble the two parts and then begin to heat it with a torch. You want to heat the fitting, not the pipe, and you want to heat from all sides. As you heat, I tend to test it every now and then to see if the solder will flow into the joint. Uh, you'll see that I remove the heat, I apply the solder, and then see how well it flows. If it doesn't flow in very well, I continue to heat until the solder melts easily. And then I'll continue to apply heat to allow that solder to fully flow into the joint. You want to apply enough solder, but not too much solder. I generally apply enough so that the entire joint has solder around it, and then maybe do just a tiny bit more. If you do make a mistake, you can unsolder the parts and pull them apart with the pliers. Reapplying them can be tricky, but if you sand both parts so that they easily fit together again, you can reflux them, reassemble them, and then obviously go ahead and resolder that connection. Now a few notes on soldering connections where there's multiple joints next to each other. Generally, like in the case of this T-fitting, I like to flux everything up and assemble everything together all at once. Then, once everything's assembled, I very carefully put them into a vise in this case so that the joints are horizontal. If the joints aren't horizontal, as you heat one, you have the chance to unsolder the one next to it, and then the part will just fall apart. So if I keep both joints horizontal, uh, I can heat them both, solder them both, and everything works out well. Same thing here, I'll keep the other two joints horizontal while I solder on the top T connection, which is vertical. Uh, it can't really fall out if it's, it's vertical. And that way everything stays together, even if you apply a little bit too much heat. Trust me, I've had a lot of difficulty with things falling apart when you solder connections next to them. Well, I hope you guys have learned something from this. This is kind of a little bit different for me, but it's something I want to really start doing is sharing with you guys things that I have been learning and also passing along some projects I'm doing and we'll kind of do a mix of that going forward. So it's good to be back. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed yet and I will see you guys in the next one. That's it.